one hour of nostalgic FNAF videos lies right here. As it's gonna be lowered in its grave, it already has. We have been a little late, but it's okay. If we go to this memorial every day, if there's something nostalgic, I know. Oh, what the fuck? This sucks. I'm unsubscribing, man. Fuck my the scheme of unsubscribing. Ah, oh, please, for the love of God, don't make this your last one ever. One ever, one ever, my soul for never do. I'm a fucking retard. This is so bad, I hate you. I'm unsubscribed. I'm sob. Ha, ha, fuck you. Yeah, you know what? I'm unsubscribing to a man. Yeah, yeah, me too. It's me, three. Me, four. This is just super fucking dumb. Like, Everyone is judging us anyway, like this is just bullshit. Unsub. Uh... People, wait, wait, don't leave. Only if they knew what you went through. The, the modernist gamer, only if they knew that you had another secret sequel. Well, for, for Queequel, I don't know how to say it, but yes, only if they knew that you had it. But you lost too much subscribers that day. For them, for you, to delay it in the worst way. Ah, uh, what? I guess I'll never release now. Please, and... Is that an Ebertronic? I think it is. Well, why don't we uh, put it back in the trunk and uh, bring it back to Freddy Fazbear's place? I can tell it's Freddy Fazbear. Just, it, it's all over its name. Look at him. Yeah, you're right. I know I'm right. All right, help me out. Just put this thing back in the garage. Or a back room. I don't remember, but Freddy Fazbear's beats really look like it anymore. Not up to this evidence. I'm actually a really good engineer. Why don't I can go fix him? Sure, you do that. Alright. I wonder what's doing at a graveyard, though. Huh. Alright, uh, let's put junk. Oh, yeah. It's a heavy fucker. Alright, it's loaded. Alright, go on. Alright. Oh, it's a drive, drive, drive.
Hey, dude, just wanted to let you know the pizza's ready. I'm sorry. Bedtime. Hey, my God, Justin Bieber! Uh, hey, excuse me, do you have the time? Uh, yeah, sure, it's, um, half past- Pizza? Hey man, if what you doing, we should we should play some quelf. You wanna play some quelf? Pizza! <laughs> hey dude, you gonna finish that pizza? I'm sorry man, I'm just curious. Buck, 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 pizza. Who smells like that? Pizza. I don't know. No, seriously, no. Who, who smells like that? Pizza! Alright, it was me. That's awful. It reeks. Okay. Yeah. I, don't, I don't care. I don't care. I, c I can't even- I don't even know why I stay up here. Pizza! Shut up, chicken! This is an awful British accent. Every single British person in history is going to hate me because I'm actually American. That's amazing. Pizza! Oh gosh. farmer. Every night I would go to the pub. I would drink ale and dance jigs. But then one day, I met a pretty lass. Her name was Ruby, and she- Wow, none of you sound the same as you- Pizza! Oh, of course you still sound the same. Peekaboo! Mm -hmm. Peekaboo! Mm -hmm. Peekaboo! Uh, peek hey, Mario! <sighs> Marionette. <laughs> Whatever, Mario. Get out here and talk. Hi. Audio devices? Hello. Is this for real? All of you have succeeded at totally disappointing me, especially you, old bunny dude. Are oh, you saying that because I'm purple? You're yellow, dude. Is that? Okay, shut up with that stupid joke. I can be whatever color I want to be. And today, it's purple. Dude, you're blue. I am purple! Captured my heart with her green valley eyes and her hair as golden as my fine gold tooth. I was in- Wait, where's the balloon kid? Oh, we stuffed him down a vent. Won't be coming out anytime soon. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. The reason I got this game was to get scared, guys. Roar. Wow, I'm terrified. <laughs> uh-huh, yep. Had to have the troll jump scare in there. Really funny, guys. Love, but Ruby didn't return the love. So because of that, I, uh, I... I forgot what I was gonna say. You know what? I'm done. You just don't wanna hang around me because I'm purple. You're yellow! Pasta? I still don't know what you're doing here, but whatever. Please do not subscribe if you're here just for this or because you saw this one video. This will probably be the last Five Nights at Freddy's Not Scary I do. I highly suggest that if you guys like this video, you check out some of what I seriously consider far better, like these. They'll be at the end of the video too, don't worry. Enjoy anyway, or don't enjoy it. I'm really sorry if you didn't want this. <laughs>
real. Okay, I'm sorry. So her voice changed in the second one, became Irish in the third, and is now back to the original in the fourth one. This makes about as much sense as the Five Nights at Freddy's storyline. You know people are gonna be mad this isn't the same. Ha ha funny joke and then fuzz and then ha ha funny joke and then fuzz and so on. The joke is so old now. Just stop. Yeah, you brought that upon yourself. Your accent still sucks, Freddy. You know what? I give up trying. Pizza. Shut up. Oh. This is working out real nicely. Is this funny? Am I funny yet? Pizza. Go to the dentist and fix your teeth. Yeah. Oh boy. Freddy's gone super saiyan. Pizza, 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 pizza. And she has gone insane. Nope. What is going on? Are oh, these enough pizza jokes? <laughs> Now that time for Garrett to read some of the comments on this video. It took some YouTube comment decoding, but we managed to translate. This is nothing like the first two. Garrett is just a clickbait jerk who clearly wants all your money since he tries to get people to watch his videos with good quality and hardly ever makes not scaries, which would be vomiting money for him right now. Definitely a clickbaiter, no question. This isn't funny. Totally not like the third one. What is satire? I don't understand anything. Wow, Garrett, you are disappointing. I'm unsubscribed. Subscribing. Garrett, if you don't fix this, I'm gonna come to your house and kill you. FNAF isn't scary. How dare you make a satirical part about us infuriated fanboys at the end. This is officially 100% the last Five Nights at Freddy's Not Scary I'm doing. Last time I said probably because I wasn't sure. Well, I'm sure now. I love your support, but they're done. However, obviously I would advise that you check out the other stuff I do and subscribe for that stuff because that's what I'm gonna continue doing. Am I boring you with this intro yet? Here. Cool, how about this? Great, that's other stuff I do, so hopefully you'll check it out. I'm not gonna waste your time any further, so please enjoy the video. It looks like you were having trouble with the keyboard. I see what you were trying to type, and I will correct it for you. Thank you for choosing Force Chica Pizza Voice because that's all I have left in life. Pizza? Pizza? Pizza, 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 pizza. There were peanuts in that peanut butter, weren't there? I'm allergic to peanut butter! I would advise you to give Foxy a controlled shock, but it's got a shock fetish. Shock me, Daddy. I love getting shocked. Nope, 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 nope. Thankfully, I don't think a freshly opened pint of ice cream feels anything at all. Actually. No! No! Press the red button now to administer a controlled shock. This is why mom does it. You. Thank you for choosing exotic pizza. I have crippling depression. <sighs> I don't know, guys. I wasn't as big a fan of Undertale. What did you say? <laughs> <laughs> guys, I found a big Other B B films and Garrett Williamson here. Yeah, hi, I'm in this video. Now, I clarified that I'm done with Not Scary as a whole, but I'm still open to helping other people out and being part of their Not Scaries. So let's get straight into the video, shall we? Do you think I agreed to do this because you are a patron of me? Did you think I will continue Not Scaries from now on? No, this was a gift to me. So that I shall have the last laugh of this series, and we shall all see that real hard work is rewarded. I shall make myself proud. Connection terminated. I'm sorry, Garrett, but you are misinformed. You are not to completely remove yourself from the not scary category, nor will being in this video prove anything. I will help you continue your legacy. All I need is your help. <laughs> Hey, you, the owner of this establishment, 
Would you like to play a game of hide and seek with me? Yeah, actually, I'd rather not. Oh, too bad. I'm coming in that office. Here, Oster, I'm gonna come find you. Oh gosh, please no. Peekaboo! Hey, you. Justin Bieber's latest hit doesn't have five million likes yet. Do you know what I need? A hug. Oh, I, I don't think... <laughs> What are we talking about? We're talking about becoming a small room and some tables. Oh gosh, what the heck is going on? Mac, my emulator is broken. Wanna come fix it, buddy? Oh, you fix it. But, Garrett, I don't know how to fix the worst major console's emulator because I only know how to fix it. Begin audio prompt in three, two, one. have a score to settle with a little boy wearing blue pants, a striped shirt, a beanie, and a sign, and he steals your batteries at the first chance he has, and he hops your drink with a slap! Well now is your chance at revenge. Introducing the Lemonade Clown. He will turn any pair of pants brown. Guaranteed. I pooped my pants. Although for one of you, the darkest pit of hell has opened to swallow you whole. Hey, why have we not killed this guy yet? We are waiting for the opportune time to attack. Well, who's going to strike? I will. I was the first to arrive. No, I'm first. I'm the oldest. I don't give a scrap. I'm going. No, uh, I'm jumping in and he'll be so scared we won't have to kill him. No, stinking way! No, I've never, you know. You know what? I've I never don't care. Felt I don't care about so the game theorists. You know what? I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. I don't know what I'm saying. I don't care. 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 I Yeah. First night on the job, this is gonna be freaking easy, man. Uh, hello? Oh, hello. Uh, oh. I wanted to record a message for you. Wow. To help you get settled in on your what? first night. I don't need no uh, babysitter, man. And mute. Dude, this tablet is a fucking piece of crap. It doesn't even get on YouTube! Whoa, what the hell happened to the lights? Oh, shit. Back to work, I guess. What the hell's the generator? Well, I guess this might be it. Huh? Oh! Well, that's the problem right there. Do 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 Aha! Problem solved! What would this place do without me? I'm Okay. Please? Ah. <sighs> so boring. Up, down, up, down. Ah. <sighs> the hell is there to do around here? <laughs> Yeah! Pizza time! That's my last slice of pizza! No, it's not! Uh... 
Man, this peach is amazing. Time to die. Hey! Ow! Uh, 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 we just want to pull an egg. Uh, it's me. Uh, Nobody touches my pizza. <laughs> Bonnie Bunny wants to be your bird, buddy. <laughs> This animation was completed in 48 hours. Five animators. And one voice. Thanks to those that supported the stream's creative process. And a huge thanks goes out to those that donated. So if you missed the Jam Cave experience, please join us next time at thejamcave.com.
That's not gonna happen, mate. Big Are you kidding me? I'm not fucking big I've installed cameras in every room in the house. Oh fuck, he's gone. It's Chico's birthday coming up, so I thought we'd bake him a cake. So I got him this blue cake because it said, Chico is a boy. And I got him gummy bears to remind him of me. Hi everyone, it's Chico's birthday. Yeah. And I got her a pink cake since she's a girl. Yeah. Why don't you get a blue cake for Chico? She's a girl. Chico, I thought, was a guy. It's a girl. And so we got him a blue cake. Because guys like blue, that's what baby clothes teach mm. you. Everyone knows that. I got her a pink cake because she's a girl. And girls like pink. Obviously. I thought Chica was a girl. Look, let's just make the cake blue and pink. And it'll be extra big. And then Cheek O can tell us what he thinks. <laughs> Cheek O. You shouldn't even be in Five Nights at Freddy's if you don't know that Cheek is a girl. Hey, Freddy. Bonnie, you don't even know, do you? <laughs> Whatever. Let's make the cakes. That's fresh. Uncle Fred didn't even know Chico's a guy. Huh, what an amateur, Foxy. Amateur. Don't spill your bag in the bowl. Oh dear. Ah! Oh yeah, let's just spray it all over the counter. Okay, That's better go, Freddy. Me too. Smells <laughs> like a lucky charm marshmallow. All right, boys, bring in the eggs. We're gonna need some oil and then also some water. Now, see this big bowl behind me? This is where we'll mix all the wet ingredients. Elmo, go fill that cup with water. Bunny, you crack some eggs. Fish. What are you doing? I'm trying to fill up with water. Oh, well, I guess that's okay. <laughs> you don't mix up my pink goopy stuff. Is it full? I think it's full. <laughs> Fresh. What is this, Bonnie? Can your mother ever teach you how to crack an egg? I'll show you how it's done. Here we go. Yeah, see? There we go. Now you just have to fish the shells out. Yeah, yeah, got the water. Good, Bonnie's getting the eggs with it. Fresh. All right, Elmo, go on with the water. Yeah, yeah. I got it. Oh, 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 goodness. This stuff's gross. Fresh. Yeah, I think we should have put the water in the dry stuff. All right, bring this over to the pink cake. Uh, That's your delivery. Oh, uh, yeah. Ooh, Foxy, you seeing this? You seeing this? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's my cake coming together. Oh, now we just have to mix it, mix it, mix it. Cakey, 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 Vegeta. Yeah, here, here's your oil, Freddy. Hold on. Put it in there! Put it in there quick! Oh yuck! Mix it in! It looks gross! You messed up my cake! It was Freddy! He made me do it! He told me it needed it! Freddy sabotaged my cake! Well, at least your cake doesn't look like stinking laundry detergent! <laughs> Get out of here! Where'd my eggs go? Where's my liquid for this stuff, huh? You slacking? <laughs> Fresh, 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 fresh
Good old butter for Foxy Blue Monstrosity. Yeah, good old cut of butter. Uh, eggs in. Uh, here comes the butter. Uh, uh, yuck. Hope this tastes good. Looks kind of weird. Uh, here we go. Get your water, Foxy. Uh, good. Now I can catch up the Golden Freddy. <laughs> Yeah, well, I'm actually ready to put my cake in a pan. Freddy, where's my pan? Have you greased it? Yeah, where's that brown idiot? <laughs> Isn't that funny, Foxy? <laughs> uh, 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 there we go. That's pretty looking. All right, I'm done over here. I've been done. Freddy, where's my pan? Get over here. I'm spreading oil all around in it. <laughs> Ooh, that's unsanitary. I know. Does Freddy ever take a bath? Dust bath. Yuck. Put it in my pan. Okay, okay. <laughs> Finally, I have a pan. There goes my masterpiece into into its wonderful world of. <laughs> Come on, Malmo, ladle, ladle. <laughs> <laughs> Next pan. <laughs> ah, you beautiful masterpiece. Wonderful. Hope it tastes good. All right, Elmo. Here we go. <laughs> Put it in. Watch out. It's hot, hot. <laughs> no. yeah. All right, now, Marky. Hold a pan steady, buddy. Oh. It's sticky. Ah, uh, there we go. All right, here it comes. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. <sniffs> Don't turn your nose up with my cake, buddy. It's just fine. It's fine. Ah, uh, sticky. No, oh, golden idiot went and put his on the top rack. Ah, uh, uh, there we go. Ah, uh -huh. <laughs> cake. Check out my cake. It's blue gold. Have you seen mine? You stand on yours. It's kind of brown. Mine's blue. <laughs> All right, you lot. Mm -hmm. How are we going to stack these things? You know, you mm. got the blue on the bottom, we got the pink on the bottom. Well, blue goes on the top, obviously. Pink goes on top because Chica likes pink. I'm pretty sure. Ah, fresh. How about this? Whoever gets theirs out of the pan first gets to be on top. Eh? That seems fair. Well, Hold it. Uh, I'm going to start with mine. You uh, 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 And you better hurry, uh, gold uh, 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 oh. <laughs> Looks like you got here first. I'm on the bottom, Hank. That's right. You're on the bottom. I'm on the top. Uh, 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 I didn't want this. Kill the fuck, Sorry. Wow. Elmo's pretty smart. It's kind of tricky. You matter is an idiot. Hey. Well, be a good sport and help Elmo me. tricked me, yeah. Ah. Oh, my beautiful cakey wakey. Ew, it smells funny. Yeah, I'll be mine on. There we go. All right, help me lift this off. All right, all right. Yeah. 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 Oh, ah. Ah. Yay. Why is it? Looks like he's moldy. What's wrong with my cake? <laughs> it looks like dirty foam or something. It sure does. <laughs> I'm trying to comfort you. No. Grab that, buddy. Foxy, you got your eye on that. Ah, Ta-da! Fresh! Behold all creation! Ha 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 ha! Fresh things back. It's also got good suspension. It's like a mattress. Look at it. Jiggle, 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 jiggle. Fresh mattress. Jiggle, jiggle, jiggle. Jiggle, 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 jiggle. Jiggle, 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 jiggle. Jiggle, 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 jiggle. Jiggle, jiggle, jiggle. Hey! Enough nonsense. I'm sorry. Go down, Chick. I'll be home any minute. Need to paint the cake. You mean put on icing? To cover up how ugly my blue cake is. <laughs> oh, the moldy green sponge cake. You At least the it. top doesn't look like Shut that. Shut up, get the paint, okay? Oh, get the paint. Pillsbury Vanilla. I think he's a distant relative. Anyways, yeah, yeah. Did you just call us Pillsbury's Dome in? Or whatever? Shut up, smear this paint on. It's frosting, yeah. frosting. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Piece of cake. It's like painting. It's like drywall, smear it. spatuling, oh, bricklaying. Yeah. Oh yeah, we're mortars, mortar yeah. room. Look at our skull going through. Well, we can do this for a living, Foxy. We can be cake makers. It's so beautiful. Look at the design. Why is everybody laugh like a goat around here? Ooh, yeah. beautiful, Freddy, beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. We're so good at this. I'm going to dip my eyebrow in the frosting. Don't do it, I'll eat it. Okay. Make your eyebrow, I would. Don't eat, eat it off eyebrow. your face. Go away. Cut off, it's going well off the butchering it. Without knowing who's making it. Yay! Hot five. Yeah. Why is all the blue covered up? Come on, guys. That's fresh. 
Yeah. Looks like you get diabetes just by looking at it. <laughs> well, we practically used two garbage cans full of icing, so yeah, it's probably true. Freshly fresh. Oh, I think Bonnie wants us to leave, or else he was saying something about a mushroom. Yeah, it's obvious. Come on, move. Mm. Got to leave. No mushroom. Alright, Bonnie. Put on a whatever it is. Toothpaste. Come out. It's like Christmas on Thanksgiving morning. Uh, 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 ooh. Ooh. Yeah. Hot <laughs> time for me. Yes, it is. Fresh. All right, boys. It's time to put us on the cake. Uh, so the yellow one's Chica. I'm the orange one. You're this stupid white-looking one. Uh, Bonnie's green, and Foxy is the red one. Uh, All right, Wolfrey, yeah. stick up the banner. All right. All right. Here we go. Be Here careful. We go. Why does it say Biff Biff a Well, bit, bit later. Oh, there we go. Ah, uh, there you go. All right, everybody. I got a bunch of birthday candles. Does anybody know how old Chica is? I have no idea. Let's just put a light on. I'm sure, I'm sure Chico will like it. That sounds good to me. Let's go. Ooh, yeah. I'm not going to lie, everyone. I was a little worried about how this was going to turn out since my cake turned out blue. But I think we did really good. Yeah. Chico's going to like this a lot. Oh, you bet Chico will like it. It's amazing. It's a work of art. It's good. It's like a, a war cake. See all these cannons on the side, boom, 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 and all the worshippers beneath. <laughs> of us. I don't know who they worship. Never mind. All right, everyone, you move the cake. I'm gonna go get Chico. <laughs> Chico. All right, Chico, come this way. You'll never guess where we're going. <laughs> <laughs> That's not fair. We would never go to your birthday party. Oh. Never, never, never. Come on, come on. The giant waiting potato race wants to hold up. Take go guess what we're doing. It's no surprise now. Is that so? Stick it. Yeah. All right, light the cake. All right, Chico. I'll take the blindfold off now. Happy birthday, Chico! I can't go for it. Happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, birthday to you. I think we've got the building up. Happy birthday, Jacob. <laughs> <laughs> oh, happy birthday, Jacob. Here, come, come eat some of your cake. You think it's cooked enough now? <laughs> Don't worry, Chico. Let's wipe that grin off you, mate. Mm. Yeah. Fresh. I don't know if you can tell, but we actually made this. All of us. We didn't buy it. I made it from scratch. It's falling. Yeah, here it comes. Out you go. There you go, Chico. Happy birthday, single buddy. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, birthday to you. Don't we all sing this? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Freddy, you didn't take the candles out. You're supposed to take them out so there won't be wax in the cake. Wax in the cake? There's ashes on the cake. Because <laughs> you should have done that. I made it. Foxy's probably gonna taste like trash. Foxy, you only want pink, huh? I think Foxy passed out from joy back there. Foxy, are you okay? There you go, pretty. Oh, thank you. I don't have a plate. I know. Funny, isn't it? <laughs> I'm so happy. Chico liked the cake. Even the blue one. It looked weird. Yeah. <laughs> 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 That's fresh. That's fresh.
Hungry kids, got some play doh. Oh, looks grand. Looks like just like play doh. Just like it. That's how they make play doh. You know what the recipe? You know how? Yeah, let's climb up the cake. Yeah. Blueberry. Yeah, we're going Freddy. We need a piece of cake from the yeah. middle. Yeah, I want to give him on a piece from the bottom. I want a piece. Yeah, come on, I'm not your. No. It's dropped my cake on the floor. Try and clean up the cake. Don't yeah. desecrate it. How dirty it is. Don't desecrate my piece. cake. Stupid. Yay! So everybody, Yay. thank you so much for watching. Yay! Yeah, they probably want me. Anybody have a cake that they really hated? Yeah. Oh, have you ever a cake look like this before? Yeah. That you really love. <laughs> Psychedelic cake. <laughs> Hey guys, Bill here. We got some very strange real or fake submissions in this week, like giant fish being shot out of mud volcanoes in Taiwan. I don't even know what a mud volcano is. And then there's the mystery sea creature caught by fishermen in China. But the really big story this week is one I've been wanting to work on for a long time. And that's an important mystery many of you have asked me to solve. Is Freddy Fazbear's Pizza a real pizza place? Or is it just another big, fat, cheesy internet fake? Why don't we heat up the ovens and see what we can find out? One of my best leads on this thing came from a viewer by the name of Ariel Santana. Now what Ariel did was send me this photo along with an address which is close enough for me to drive to. So that's what I'm doing now. I'm heading there to see if this checks out. In the meantime, here's a little more background on this story. As many of you know, Freddy Fazbear's Pizza is the location for the video game Five Nights at Freddy's. Now, according to Wikipedia, this video game was developed by a man named Scott Cawthon. The player must act as a night security guard at the pizza place, defending him or herself from the malfunctioning animatronic animal characters there. That is like, this is like the most terrifying game I've ever played. There is no lack of people doing Let's Play videos on this game. Many reviews have said it's one of the scariest video games ever. Now, on the one hand, there's lots of evidence pointing to the fact that Freddy Fazbear's Pizza is a real place. There are hundreds of pictures showing everything from buildings, t-shirts, signs, and people even enjoying the pizza. People have posted Yelp reviews, employees have posted videos about suing the place, there's even a commercial Hi. for it. Freddy Fazbear's Pizzeria, located off I-70 between the Sizzler and Coats, Coats, Coats. Come on down. But on the other hand, a lot of it just turns out to be bogus. The one in California where people posted Yelp reviews? If you actually search that address on Google Maps, there's nothing there. I tried contacting Scott Cawthon, the guy who created the game, but he never responded. Then I contacted the game's distributor, Desera, to see if they knew anything. And I'm still waiting for a reply from those guys. All right, well, I've arrived at the address, which is in New Jersey, by the way, but I don't see Freddy's Fazbear Pizza around here. In fact, I don't even see a restaurant. I mean, the only thing I see is a liquor store and a big sign with a clown on it. Okay, that one didn't work out too well, but just because that one wasn't there doesn't mean there isn't a Freddy Fazbear's Pizza somewhere. I turned to my research team, the Chewy Piranhas, and asked if they would check government records to see if we could find any businesses matching the name Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. I mean, if there really is such a business, they would have to register, right? So they can pay taxes and so forth. Well, guess what? That strategy not only paid off in gold, but in red as well, as in the official answer. Now, you know I'm dying to tell you what's in here, but first, I gotta know what you're thinking. <laughs> 
right up here, okay? Now, I don't care what time it is or where you are, but what I need you to do is yell out as loud as you can, either real or fake. Now, if you can't do that, it's okay to pause the video here, go to the comment section, leave your answer there, and then come back up here and play the rest of the video to see if you're right. Now, another way, which is one of my favorites, is just to vote right up here. All right, you ready? And go. Okay, did you do it? Good, because in just a few seconds, I'm gonna open up this envelope and show you what the official answer is. But first, I wanna show you a couple other things that came in this week. In this photo, first submitted by Deddy Asher, the men are holding what is claimed to be one of two oar fish that were blown out of a mud volcano in Taiwan. Now, Deddy, as crazy as this sounds, this photo and the story behind it is real. Mud volcanoes are actually real, and there is documented evidence that one has just occurred in Taiwan. Now, how the fish got in the middle of all this is unknown. In this video sent in by Jamie Palmer, Joe Voon, and many others, Chinese fishermen are said to have caught a mystery monster from coastal waters of the East China Sea. Now, guys, this video is real, but it isn't an unknown sea monster there. Scientists have identified the beast as what is known as a beaked whale, one of the deepest diving mammals on the planet. Finally, this picture sent in first by Chris Chiong claims to show a real life Pikachu, you know, as in the Pokemon Pikachu. Chris, this definitely fits my special category known as so, so fake, fake, it's, it's funny. funny. The picture is a Photoshop version of this photo. The real photo shows a cougar that was captured by Kenyan villagers because it was eating their goats. Man, I cannot believe the number of people that are out there trying to get us to believe in things that just aren't true. I mean, there is a tsunami of fakery going on out there, people, and we have to do something about it. Like open up this envelope and find out if there's a real Freddy Fazbear's pizza. Are you ready? All right, good, because I know I am. I'm actually kind of hungry, so hopefully it's true. All right, here we go. The various media presented to prove that a real Freddy Fazbear's pizza place exists has been examined and researched. Well, that's good that you did both. Uh, based on this evidence and various private and governmental databases, it is our conclusion that the photo and its claim are without question, and I can taste that pizza right now, 100% fake. Oh no. Does that mean we're going to have to eat at Colonel Sanders? It's the only way that you're going to get chicken that is finger licking good. Thanks to Shelby from the Chewy Piranhas Research Group, we learned this picture is actually a Photoshop version of this place. And it isn't in New Jersey, it's in Oregon. Then, after an exhaustive search of business names around the world by Shelby, Aya, and the rest of the Chewy Piranhas, guess what we found? There are no businesses registered with the name Freddy Fazbear's Pizza anywhere in the world, which means it might be a good time to do it since nobody else is using it. <laughs> anyway, that's all the time I have for this video. I want to thank everybody for sending their submissions in this week. And I also want to send a special thanks out to the Chewy Piranhas for helping me track this one down. See you next time. Hi, I'm Freddy Fazbear and welcome to Freddy Fazbear's Pizzeria. Hey, is this video claiming to show a commercial for Freddy Fazbear's Pizzeria the real deal? Or is this just some pizza pie in the sky YouTube malarkey? I've got the solution to that pizza puzzle, plus answers on a couple other mysteries. Like a phone number claiming to be Santa Claus's hotline, and this, a picture that claims to show a huge toy blooper that actually made it onto the racks in stores all across America. I've got all that, some new fan art, and my favorite fake of the week, so sit back and get ready to test your brain cells. Hey guys, Bill here. We're gonna be taking apart that Freddy Fazbear commercial, pixel by pixel, in just a second. But first, listen up. Got a new sponsor on deck, Age of Magic.
There's a reason Age of Magic was the game of the day in the App Store. Not only is it the best looking game on mobile with amazing graphics, but it's also got a classic fantasy setting and story. If real life player versus player with legendary heroes, epic battles, and breathtaking arenas are your thing, then this is the game for you. And what's great is they just had a huge in-game update. Now members of a clan can hook up for shared clan activities and get rewards. Also, they just added a new hero to the game. I really love Age of Magic and I know you will too, so here's the deal. Download the game using my exclusive link below and you will get 600 gold absolutely free. So what are you waiting for? Get Age of Magic now! Okay, now that we know all about that, let's talk about this TV commercial for Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. If you're a game fan like me, you probably know Five Nights at Freddy's takes place in a spooky pizza restaurant called Freddy Fazbear's Pizza that is haunted by killer animatronic robots. Now, as you probably also know, we've examined a bunch of Freddy Fazbear Pizza submissions here, and they've all turned out to be fake. But that doesn't mean we don't stop looking because I, for one, would really like to have a piece of Freddy Fazbear pizza someday. Our latest entry to the In Search of Real Freddy Fazbear Pizza is this video. It was posted by Iron Horse Cinema and claims to show a rare TV spot starring an older gentleman telling viewers to come on down to Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. The video was sent in by Amy Mireya and Marley June. Amy wrote, hey Bill, is this video for real? Well guys, I gotta say, this one really piqued my interest because if this commercial is real, it means we also have a real Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. So, what do you say we take a closer look? On closer inspection, we see the videos called Five Nights at Freddy's 1980s Rare TV Spot Discovered. From the look of it, I would estimate it was made a long time ago. The video quality is grainy and the video frame is a short, fat rectangle, meaning it was made back before the days of HD and big TVs, maybe even as early as the 1980s. Another way to tell it's old are these little imperfections known as hits. These little imperfections mean this commercial was originally recorded on videotape. Nowadays, everything's recorded digitally, so we don't see those imperfections anymore. But back in the 80s, they recorded everything on cameras like this, which used videotape. Do you like what you see? Good, because it's not me. It's a recording of me on new Memorex videotape. Anyway, let's go back to the commercial and take a look at the part that shows the actual restaurant. Freddy Fazbear's Pizzeria located off I-70 between the Sizzler and Coats, Coats, Coats. The bald guy says it's located in the Chattanooga Shopping Center, and guess what? A little digging around on the internet did reveal a Facebook page for Freddy Fazbear's Pizza located in Chattanooga, Tennessee. I'm getting excited here. The Facebook page not only had an address, but a phone number too. Okay guys, I'm getting ready to make the phone call, which is gonna give us the official answer. But before I do this, you know, there's a little something you gotta do and you probably already know what that is. You have to let me know what you're thinking up here first, okay? Now, when I say go, just go up here and vote, leave a comment down in the comment section with your answer, or just yell it out if you're in a group. You ready? And go. Hey, while everybody's doing their thing, I just wanna give you one last update on our search for animals that use electricity as a weapon. So far, we have the stargazer fish, the electric eel, the electric ray, and the electric catfish. Now this week, for some reason, we had a big run on echidnas. A lot of you guys suggested echidna, including Boy Tonley, but the truth of the matter is, the echidna does not use electricity as an offensive weapon. It uses it to locate prey, like radar. Uh, a lot of people suggested the Guiana dolphin. Same thing, only uses it as radar, not making the list. Uh, Marsha Play suggested 
vegan stingray. And I had never heard of one of these, so I looked it up. So, Marsha, are you talking about this artwork on DeviantArt, or are you talking about this bracelet? Because in either case, they don't make the list. Now, Stephen Hernandez said, thunder clouds use electricity <laughs> as a weapon. It, well, yeah, that's true, but I, I guess you didn't get the memo. It's supposed to be animals. Now, memes go to die wrote, bear with taser. Seriously, man? Raz now wrote, Moo Luke's peanut budget. Misspelled on purpose, I guess. I like peanut butter is what he's trying to say, and I guess I had that one covered. But hey, listen, in all seriousness, folks, we did find a new creature for our list this week. And no, it's not a shark of any form. A lot of you guys were sending in Thresher Shark as a suggestion. And it's not the gecko. Now, the gecko, I didn't know this, actually uses electricity in its feet, like when it's crawling around. It's like static electricity. Helps it grip onto things, especially when it's walking upside down on your ceiling. So there you go. But the one that is making the list, suggested by a lot of people, including Connolly 500 Fox, is the spider. Yep, that's right. Spiders smear their webs with a special electrostatic glue that actually allows the web to reach out and grab charged particles like water, pollen, and prey. Now, to be fair, Rage for Raffle did disagree with you guys on the spider. He wrote, they do not discharge from their body as a means of attacking, so not a weapon. Well, Rage, I understand where you're coming from, but I think I'm gonna go with the spider in this case because the spider creates the web as a weapon to capture prey, and as part of that weapon, it uses electricity not to locate the prey, but to actually zap them and stun them and pull them into the web. So, there you have it, our last member added to the list. So now we got the Stargazer Fish, the electric eel, the electric ray, the electric catfish, and the lowly spider. Okay, now that we got all that out of the way, what do you say we give a phone call to this Freddy Fazbear's pizza number that we found on Facebook to see if this is the real deal? All right, here we go. I'm gonna put it on speaker so you guys can hear what's going on here. Here it goes. <laughs> Well, I guess you know what this means because that woman was definitely not Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. If it was a Freddy Fazbear's Pizza, they would have said, hi, this is Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. And they didn't. So, as much as I hate to say it, the Freddy Fazbear commercial is nothing more than a BFF as in fate. Not only did the phone number turn out to be wrong, but it wasn't even a number in Chattanooga, Tennessee. It was from Georgia. And when we used Google Street View to see what was at the address on Facebook, well, we got this, a high school. Say what? The truth of the matter is the commercial was created by Iron Horse Cinema. Now, Iron Horse specializes in creating fan films and viral stunt videos. You can see them here at the Maker Fair event in New York presenting some of the props they used for this video. It's a lot of fun stuff for sure, but what does it all add up to? Well, let's see what Peter Butler over at the Bubblegum Monsters channel thinks. Hey Bill, all I can say is that is one big fat fake. Hey, speaking of phone numbers, is it true that the real Santa Claus has his own hotline phone number? Well, that's what this picture wants us to believe. The Santa hotline number was sent in by Nate Player 88 and a whole bunch of other people. Nate Player wrote, is this for real? Well guys, as you know, the Claws Man and me go back a long way. I even made a movie back in my film school days about an ordinary guy who gets to meet Santa when Santa is on vacation. That's nice, glad to meet you, Carl. Thank you, and your name? Santa. Excuse me? Santa. You mean Santa as in Claws? Santa Claus, yes, of course, what else? And yes, I'll leave links so you can watch the whole thing.
Bottom line, I'm a big believer in Santa and everything he stands for. But the question today we're asking is, is this Santa Claus hotline real? We're not talking about Santa Claus himself. We're just talking about the hotline. Okay, you got that? All right, go ahead and leave me some votes up here. Leave me some answers in the comment section or just yell it out if you're in a group, okay? In the meantime, while you guys do that, I'm gonna go ahead and dial this number and then we'll meet right back here to see what the answer is. <laughs> Merry Christmas! This is Santa Claus, and you have reached my personal hotline. Okay, did you vote? Good, because we are going to find out what the deal is with this Santa Claus hotline. I mean, as you heard, what I got was a recording, and it was a male voice, and he did say he was Santa Claus, and... Uh, well, it sounded pretty authentic to me, So, but let's see what we got here for the official answer. And, oh boy, I'm in trouble now. The official answer, and I really actually kind of hate to say this, but the hotline, not Santa, but the hotline is fake. The hotline, it turns out, was created to provide kids with a fun way to call Santa by freeconferencecall.com. Dave Erickson, president of the company, said the hotline was started in 2009 because that was the year the U.S. Postal Service stopped forwarding letters to Santa Claus at the North Pole. Now, I don't know if this whole thing was some kind of marketing campaign on the behalf of that company, but I still think what they did is really cool because, you know, it's fun to call up Santa and leave a message about what you want for Christmas. I'm just a little disappointed I couldn't leave my request to a real Santa that what I want for Christmas is Pimple Pete. Have you seen this? This thing? I saw it on TV the other day and I couldn't believe it. If you like to pop pimples on other people's faces, this just might be the toy for you. And I'm not kidding, this is a real toy. <laughs> Our last picture of the day is this. It claims to show a Christmas toy that got all the way to the store shelves before anyone noticed a huge mistake in its labeling. The picture was sent in by Maxo Zipline, who just wrote, Hey Bill, my friend sent me this picture and said he took it inside a Target store. Could this be for real? Well, Maxo, I know there's a lot of companies out there that use foreign manufacturers to make their goods. And so, you know, a lot of those people in those factories, they don't even speak English. So I could see how a box that shows pictures of horses and then says their dogs might get out the door. But on the other hand, what about these people stocking the shelves in our favorite Walmarts and Targets? They didn't notice anything? I don't know. I mean, can you imagine a mom taking her kids through there and the kids are going, Mom, I want that dog! Right? And mom's like, uh, manager! <laughs> that would be... Kind of an awkward conversation, don't you think? Oh, and speaking of awkward, um, I wanna... I got a strange real or fake request that came this week from uh, Brando Harris. He wrote, did my wife actually leave me or is it all just a lie? <laughs> Brandon, I don't know what to tell you because, you know, it's a little bit early for April Fools, but you know, I mean, who knows? Maybe she just went out for eggnog. Anyway, let's get back to this. Uh, now, in terms of the toy blooper, as you might suspect with something like this, it turns out to be absolutely fake. As it turns out, there is a big clue on the package right here. You see where it says obvious plant? Well, that happens to be the name by which this guy, comedian Jeff Wysaski, spreads satirical fakeries all around the internet. Fakeries like coolest death action figures and Bench, the toy. Jeff has about 280,000 fans on Facebook, now including me, who like his sense of humor. Okay, well, that's all the time I have for this video, but hey, if you're thinking about clicking away, I wouldn't do that. I still got to show you my favorite fake of the week, which is coming up in just a few seconds. But first, I want to give a couple of shout outs for this week's fan art. Up first is a Bill and Freddy Fazbear artwork by Dillman101. Dillman said this was me working at Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. 
Well, thanks, Tillman, but uh, I think that's one job I would turn down for sure. Next, we have a couple of Project Zorro themed pieces. This one from Ashley Stevens, and this one from Hazard Plays Draws Gaming. In Ashley's, I'm calling out the Game Master who says, Oh, I thought I was real. <laughs> Thanks, Ashley. He probably did. Hazard, your picture is a little more graffiti-like, but gets the point across pretty well, even if you were too lazy to finish off the coloring part. Thanks. And hey, don't forget, we have a new show every Friday, so don't forget to hit that subscribe button as well as the notifications bell so you get a shot at being first official comment and win the pin. If you have a picture and you're not quite sure whether it's real or not, send it in to me at billschannel at gmail.com and I'll take a look. Please don't leave links or suggestions in the comment section because really, the only thing that is gonna do is turn me into a mega screamer screaming, you're driving me crazy! See you next time.
be here for another six hours All the kids went home on the night the other watch of the party zone With a torch in hand, came my feet on display With a view of every room, when I see a little movement from the corner of my eye Move quick, hesitate, and I'll probably die Lights flicker, the shadows crawl out Where the face of my enemy is I hide behind the mask Hide behind the mask Wait for the demons to travel by Just don't breathe and tremble as I breathe Don't keep it on long, it ain't fooling Foxy Check 
the vents that we'll be crawling out the bottom of If you got doors, now you oughta lock them up Whoops, I forgot, you don't even got them Keep the music playing or we're gonna have a problem But don't relax, what you have is distracted We move around as sporadic as mechanical crackheads We think on our own, no strings attached If you don't believe that, ask the marionette Did you listen to the vision you saw? As the clock keeps ticking, we'll be giving you more Now, cause our condition is poor We were that dirty game In this dark troubled place Too late to run away Just don't run out of trouble Nothing to fear, this is just the beginning of a thrilling career. Now, the animatronics are known to bug out. Isn't that enough reason to get the f out? Listen up, guy, this gig ain't for me. But we're having such fun, and we'd hate you to leave. You might mistake us for hostile monstrosities, but accidents will happen when you got a lot of teeth. If you've got a birthday, let us make it bright. It's so exciting when a party stops by for a bite. I mean, we wait all night for the day to begin with a special surprise that we save for the end. If you don't already know how we like to make friends And we'll show you now and you're gonna fit right in When I come to life You got no place to hide Keep an eye on the time And the light by your side You can try if you'd like to survive Five more nights Stick around, don't be shy Where your friends will show you why This ice is thick Cause I've been so afraid to break But you've stormed in And shattered all the walls of me And I know That I was speeding through the race But I know That the way you move is driving me Probably shouldn't stay You make my head spin Call the up against the wall But don't stop Cause I need this feeling Let's break the rules now I just wanna lose it all But don't stop Cause I need this feeling Ocean's deep, but you've been 
but I know that the way you move is driving me insane. And I probably shouldn't stay. Five nights at Freddy's. Can you survive? Five, five, five nights at 
it's me Inside, I'll be what is revenge And we know where you hide Through these rooms we go to get to you So I bet that you cannot stay alive It's me Can you survive these nights? Dead or alive I like the Freddy's These nights are passing by Can you survive? I like the Freddy's I like the Freddy's Come if you are ready Like 
Sleepy child, spark desire, walk the fire, 